Alright, so now that I've established the homeostasis version of the three universes. So, the heavens was created. And this universe was created. And the original universe was created. So there was the alien universe, the alien human humanoid universe, which is the universe that we're in now, and the heavens universe. So all was good, and all was great, and all was stable. So enough time passed by, and eventually the kingdom started to thrive in the heavens. Now mind you, I say the heavens because there are multiple heaven, right, to make up the heavens. Each heaven is a kingdom, a building in the heavens, the universe. So each building is occupied by a god or goddess that we would label as a human god or goddess because they're not humanoid. So they're taking this up. Eventually, kingdoms started melding together and one god and one goddess mixed together and then eventually human aliens were born and then eventually human, or human, human angels were born from human gods and goddesses and then from human angels were born human humans so <laughs> once this had happened eventually after enough time had went by war broke out now mind you this is mainly just based off of mythology so once the war broke out it became so widespread that every single kingdom in the heavens was involved in the war on one side. So there was this great big clash between all beings in the heavens. So there was great destruction and there was ruins created all over the place from the fighting from one side losing and the other side destroying their kingdom in the heavens destroying their building and their area to where eventually the heavens became unrecognizable and there wasn't any place to go back to because everything became ruined because of the war had become so rampant and so widespread. So this was the first war ever to be. Now, mind you, we talk about our war that we started in our heavens being the first war. Well, this is not true. This war that I'm talking about now was the first war. So the war became so out of hand that everything was going to be destroyed and the heavens was going to be destroyed. So the first god or goddess that made the heavens, that was an alien, mind you, from the original alien universe that is all dark matter, well, well he or she decided that as punishment to save his or her creation would exile all human gods, goddesses, angels, and humans to this universe. So here she created a world, one world mind you, with a solar system here in this universe to house the exiles. So, everyone, every being, including the human gods and goddesses, were exiled for their rampant war to keep the heavens from being destroyed because there's a homeostasis that needs to be kept. So, if the heavens gets destroyed, this universe gets destroyed that we're living in now, that our earth is on, and then the original universe gets destroyed destroyed too because the homeostasis goes out of whack and it'll destroy life all life as we know it and then it would have to start over from the beginning of nothing creating something and then so forth and so on until eventually the first new being comes into existence but to keep this from happening the homeostasis had to be kept going 
So he exiled them all, so that they didn't destroy the heavens. But after they were exiled, there was no way to fix the destroyed ruins. You can't just go in and demolish everything. It doesn't work like that. So, it was just much easier and much simpler and all for many reasons it was just a better idea to just not try to fix what had been destroyed so he or she left the ruins there in heaven and now mind you the ruins are talked about in mythology but I'll get back to that a little bit later anyways so now that there are all these ruins he or she the first god or goddess or second god or goddess that came into existence that was an alien or is an alien now created more heavens so there were more buildings to be occupied by more human gods and goddesses that were born from human alien angels. Now I'm just saying human alien angels because they're not humanoids. They're classified in as humans, not humanoids. But they are still alien angels. So they were having more offspring. So then there were more gods and goddesses to fill the new void. So they were taken and put into these new kingdoms that had been created. And then so came to be our heavens that we are familiar with. That is the second heavens. The second attempt at the heavens. So the gods and goddesses came to be. Now mind you this time was different because. Now mind you this, this is based on evidence from the Bible that the original god or goddess or the second original god or goddess came to the heavens and then that's when we get the realization that it was actually a him a god because it talks about him in the Bible as a him so he came in to make sure that it didn't happen again that the homeostasis was not threatened by rampant widespread war destroying the heavens so he came into the heavens to keep an eye on and to help mold his offspring these gods and goddesses and angels and human humans from Destroying themselves and destroying the heavens and destroying all universes and all life So now mind you gods and goddesses now eventually started mixing again and then now the human Angels that we are familiar with came into being and then we came into being the human humans that We are now the second generation so once this happened, all was good, all was great, all was peaceful. And then since this universe had been opened up after the exiles, then these new gods and goddesses were able to create their own solar systems here in this universe and allow life that they had created from white matter adding their own energy their own white energy to this white matter to give it enough energy to sustain more than one white matter together and then that's it how they these gods and goddesses were able to fuse white matter together with their white energy to create things like animals and plants and trees and human beings through uh mixing together so they had created all this stuff through fusion and then the humans through mixing together so they were able to create these worlds from fusing this white matter together with their white energy from their soul from their souls because there's more than one of them that did it so they created these earths and then now 
they became home to the human human second generation. So now there are many human humans here in this universe at this given point in time. But then everything breaks down because of the devil. He had to start a war and he had to threaten the balance and everything. So once he started threatening the balance, the original alien god took notice and came to God's heaven, his kingdom. So once he came there, he gathered a lot of followers. He created his own army. So there was God's army. Goddess is the original wife of God, our father. Her army. And now, she, mind you, she is referred to in the Bible as the neutral angels. She led the neutral angels. And to stay neutral angels and did not join into the battle. The war that began all wars that we refer to as in the Bible. She remained neutral. So this goddess remained neutral. So there were four armies. There was her army, the goddess, her army, the human goddess army. Then there was our fathers, the human god's army. And then there was the devil's army. And then the last army was this mystery man that they refer to as the mystery man in the Bible. They don't actually say that he's a god. They don't say that he's actually a human and that he's not an alien. But that's what he is. He's a human alien. God. Well, anyways. So, he was there to make sure that it didn't all go south. So, God comes to him and begs him to save him and his army to save the kingdom and to save the universe because everyone knew that the devil planned on destroying the kingdom and all kingdoms he planned on destroying all the heavens I don't know why he got it in his head that this was a good idea because it was his downfall that's the only reason why this alien god human joined in so anyways he goes to him and begs him and he says as soon as we start to lose there will be a point in the battle when they lose when God's army starts to lose that that was the point at which he would join in with his army and save them so that's exactly what happened God starts fighting against the devil and starts to lose mind you so after he starts to lose this alien God joins in and smashes the devil's army and just destroys them with shock and awe and sends the ranks into desertion and they're all running away and getting slaughtered and everything and then so his army and God's army joins together and is able to fight the devil's army to hell and then they lock them down into hell so that's a how hell and purgatory is created so anyways after all that happens then this alien god ends up losing his wings because he was not supposed to fight in this war he was supposed to remain neutral with this other neutral guys so she said that he betrayed her and betrayed their ideals which was being neutral and that they did not like war because it threatened everything the fabric of all universes the fabric of all life but he had to do it to save the fabric of the universe to save everything from being destroyed by the devil and she did not understand this so he had his wings taken from him so now this 
alien god is no longer an alien god. Now he's a half-breed alien god and human. And then that's the end of the story. That brings us to being here on Earth. Alright, so that's uh, how all the universe was created. From nothing, from dark matter. Now when I, again, I will stress that when I say nothing, I'm referring to dark matter. Because dark matter is nothing. So, everything in all the universes, in all the multiverse, was created from nothing, which is dark matter. Alright, so, now that's just some food for thought. That's just my ideas on what I came up with from studying into science, religion, mythology, and whatnot. So, I'm also going to talk about these runes. So... The runes from the first, um, from the first heavens universe are occupied by people that come from, and angels, that come from the second heavens universe. And they left their kingdoms in search for other kingdoms, in search for whatever. But they weren't allowed admittance into other kingdoms or back into the original kingdom. So they were lost and wandered in no man's land for all of eternity until they started settling in the ruins. So that's why in mythology it talks about going into the no, man, no man's land and coming across tribes in the ruins of the old. And that's what they are referring to, is these new tribes that are created from the ruins of old. And as to far as how we got all of our weapons for the, the war to end all wars, or the war to begin all wars that is referred to in the Bible from our God and the devil fighting, all those weapons came from the ruins, came from the first war that brought down the fabric of society enough that caused the original alien god or the second original alien god or goddess because we don't really know for sure it's not really made clear in mythology or religion but anyways they they the exiles created all those weapons but when they were exiled all the weapons were left behind and so that's where you get the swords that have souls and the bows and the shields that have swords or souls and that feel and that add their energy to the energy of those who wield them like angels and gods and goddesses and allow them to cut through anything at distance or shoot through anything at distance by using EM. So these EM weapons are also here on Earth and they are rumored to be things like King Arthur's Sword in the Rock. You know, if you're able to be worthy and be able to focus your EM, then you can pull these swords out of rock. Just like the one that's in a church in Italy right now. If you were able to focus your EM and be worthy enough to pull this sword out, you could actually use this sword to cut through anything at a distance. Just like everyone that's used it before in these wars in the heavens has done. Anyway, so I will join you again when I do another video like this. Alright. See ya.